Okay. So there we have it. We're gonna make um, earrings using these. So I'm just gonna cut them to a shape that I like, like elongated oval. I'm scared doing this. This is my first time. I think I should be wearing some gloves. This has a similar motif. Okay, so let's just cut around it. Okay, great. So now we're gonna perfect them. Okay, so let me clean everything so I'm safe here. Okay, that was fun. This is gorgeous. I didn't, I wish I didn't do the boo boo, but um, yeah, so those um, five shapes we're going to be perfecting and polishing in a minute. Okay, I just want to show you that I'm saving all of these. Okay, I'm so excited. So we're going to be using um, a grinder, inland grinder in my case. I have a video on my channel where I go over this grinder. But um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. And I didn't have a grinder in the past and I used sanding paper to perfect this. Like there is a way to do it without grinder. But you know, I um, have one, so I'm going to be using it and it's going to take way less time than trying to smooth it out by hand. All right, that's super cute. So I'm going to uh, trace the shape. They're a little bit different, but I'll try to trace the shape to make sure we are following it. Cool, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so we've got two very similar shapes. And of course, they are handmade, so they're gonna be a little bit different. And I think this one is still a little bit bigger, but it's cute. Cute, so I'm thinking to add some crystals, maybe not something giant, maybe something like smaller um, version. And we shall make some dangly earrings. Why not, right? So yeah, I'm gonna bring copper tape right now. I'm gonna turn on my soldering iron. I'm gonna put on my mask, you know, the whole thing. And we're going to cover this with copper first and then we're gonna solder. And yeah, let's just do it. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is my little working station. Just wanna show you. Yeah, my soldering iron is preheating and I think I'm gonna be soldering around 800. Um, 750 800 Fahrenheit I have my um, I obviously have my fan with me and then the iron is heating up and we're also going to be using flux my favorite flux I always use and copper tape regular copper tape because we're not going to be working with anything transparent yeah so let me grab that as well we're also going to be setting up some jump rings so I'm bringing the foam block just in case I would need that Woo, I had way too much coffee <laughs> okay no one should hear that anyway okay guys i'm so excited i hope you're excited as well so i mean hypothetically we are going to be working on the rings as well but if it's too much to put them on video maybe i'll break it up but yeah i think it's gonna be too much to put them on video <laughs> those are so like look this could be this is chaotic. Look, those are very mid-century modern. Oh, look at this design. I can. This is like, should I should I keep everything that I'm thinking out loud in my vlog? <laughs> or should I cut it out? That's the question. So yeah, I'll see how long the video is. I'll just be honest with you. But look, this is such a cute design, right? It's always uh, spontaneous, basically. That's how I run. This is how I work. This is how I think. So it serves me sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does. Um, so my dilemma is that, do I make earrings this way? Do I make this as the top, right? And they're uh, kind of uh, uh, asymmetrical slightly, but still stunning earrings. Uh, or we stick to our original plan, which, well, original plan was this, but we're not doing that. Or we're we just going with these dainty earrings and we're adding a bunch of crystals. And what I'm doing right now, as always, I'm just going to type around the shape and I'm going to, this is a tiny little tape and it's pretty thick porcelain. So, you know, just be mindful whenever you do that. So it's enough um, for, the, for, for, sh for it to hug our shape. Just, it's gonna be a tiny little border uh, of solder, which is cute. I don't mind it. I'm pulling, but I'm not, um, 
uh, breaking or tearing the, the tape. You know, I'm mindful about the tiny little border that I'm creating because I want it to be even on all the sides of my beautiful porcelain piece. So almost no overlapping. Is it bad for a shape? Is it, does, I would, usually if it's a ring, I would want more stability maybe, and I would want uh, the border to be wider just a little bit so it hugs the shape um, in, in the back and in the front. But because it's an earring, you don't, you're not gonna really be washing uh, it too much. You're not gonna be, you know, probably you're not gonna be taking shower in it. If it's, if it's a ring that you're making, you kind of have to make sure it's um, sturdy because you're washing your hands in it. But if it's earrings, you know, we can get away with a tiny little storing border. So what I'm doing, I'm burnishing. Someone told me use the brush. Yeah, this works, look. Just use whatever you have. All right, okay, so, all right, so these guys are done. Now we're going to tape beautiful mini portraits. Yeah, so it doesn't cover it too much. And it's even. Adorable. It's going to be so cute. Oh my god. Super flat. Okay. Okay, guys, just look. Very adorable oh this is so cute i'm so excited okay move this out i'll move it out of the way because these are just so cute oh my god i can't okay so um i have these earring hooks they're silver so i have this type and then this type i feel like it's more it's it's better with these because it looks more luxurious kind of i feel like it's better with those okay so but we're not there yet and we might need um our foam block to set this up so that's it so i'm going to be also using probably some be careful to not cheapen your design and what I mean is that sometimes we can add some crystals and they won't look as cute. Sometimes, I mean, be careful to not, you know, we can go hipster route. We can go hipster route and add a peace sign, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I have different colors of crystals that I can use, but maybe red, tiny little, oh, I have this also. This is a um, beautiful crystal that I have. Uh, maybe we can incorporate this somehow. I kind of feel like this might work because she has a lot of warm tones around her. So we'll see. So I'm going to be using some jump rings, you know, how we always do. And I'm going to cover it with um, solder. And we're going to figure out what kind of bling we're going to add. I do want a little bling. I'm sorry. But um, the bling that's not going to take away from design, but more is going to add to the design, right? So let's see. I have pearls. Just, just thinking. Actually, pearls would be cute. This, I don't want to put it apart. I made it a long time ago. It's kind of this one of those, you know. Uh, but pearls. Oh my gosh, pearls. I think like pearls. <gasps> like very Marie Antoinette. Last time I spilled some flux, so please always close this. This is my little suggestion to you, a little tip. Okay, so I'm gonna have my mask on. I know nobody wants to wear a mask. I get it, but please wear a mask. I'm gonna turn on my fan. Okay, and cut to music. So look, I'm going to just casually lay them next to one another, like this. 
I'm looking to see where am I in my in the thickness. Do I need to push it further? Or do I need to raise it up a little bit so my jump ring sits exactly where I want it to be, which is in the middle of this thickness, right? So let's see if we can maybe push it in just slightly. Okay, this is a good this is a good spot, I think. Great. So now we're going to flux. And I think guys, you're gonna be so happy with me if this works. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I'm not gonna put on a mask because it's tiny. So I'm, probably li I'm gonna get, grab a little bit of solder, okay? Just a little bit. And let's hope. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hold the jump ring in place. So hold it in place because it's gonna jump. Watch. And we're done. Are you kidding me? Are you guys kidding me? It's done. It's set in five seconds. So this method is great. Look at that. We did our jump ring in less than five seconds. For me, it's not enough. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start tweaking and then that's where the problem comes because sometimes I can, um, you know, create more work for myself, but I'm gonna lay it flat again because you know what happens when you set up a jump ring? Sometimes it overheats and it can, you can melt it off completely. So again, let's just ta tap, I'm gonna tap instead of, uh, like, this is, I, I'm so scared. We're just gonna, whoop, great. I covered it, I covered it. I like to set them, I like to add a lot of solder because I might be paranoid slightly, but now it's, it's more protected, okay? It's not going anywhere. If I'm gonna be playing with it more, it's gonna fall, but let's not do that. Done. Don't you love me, guys? Okay, that was one. Let's set up a whole ring. No, let's set up a, hmm. We need another, <laughs> so excited. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna rotate and I'm gonna add, I didn't think about composition. What do we do? Do we wanna, if this is gonna be attached to that and then we're gonna have something dangly, right? Right? Like this, that, and then something dangling. A little pearl, pearl, mother of pearl. It's either gonna be, her little pearl this or let me grab a smaller pearl I need to know okay let me show you so I have a I have a you know over the years obviously we all accumulate stuff and I do have quite a collection of things this is just one treasure chest but I'm thinking I'm thinking what if we're gonna go with yeah I'm thinking we should go with these and then I have a bigger bigger one yeah I'll pull a few let's, let's think about composition let's decide on final composition so we have her and we have this right do we edit them both parts well they all falling do we do this yes right and nothing here right Let's just do this and if it's not enough, we'll add another jump ring, okay? And then do we do we add anything red to the to the equation? No, it's gonna make it look cheaper. I think red. I don't think we need red. Okay, done. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm like so excited when I'm making some something. I'm shaking. Like I'm so excited. I'm shaking. I'm so silly. Okay, so um, we're done with that, but we're gonna use the same spot to set our second friend right here which is great um i need a jump ring my channel will be called eugenia out of focus camera wise and attention wise okay so um let's add jump Lately, let's just... my monkey mind is turning over All the times that knock me off my swing The break in the chain link Lately I'm trying to find some kind of closure Spinning circles at the roller rink I could walk or skate around But I'm back where I came from then it came cut this
this much. Is it gonna look cheap or is it gonna look cute? I think it's gonna look cute. Let me just perfect this. I mean, the it, it, we could have another little connection and then set it. It's gonna be too long, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it back up. La 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 la. Eee, how cute. How adorable is this? I can't. Look at this, guys. <gasps> Look at that. I'm so happy this is too cute. Maybe this was in the way, I'm sorry. Making your own jewelry is so rewarding. And so I just pushed it slightly. And let's... Let's close it. <gasps> oh my god. Guys. I can't. Earring hooks. So... Oh, they have an opening. Never mind. I was worried. Okay, so you don't even have to have uh, any tools because they're so soft, actually. Let me just open this and I can just push it back in. They're silver and they're so soft. Oh my god, just look at this. <gasps> Guys, I'm so happy. We are done. How adorable. Just look. So let me give you a better close-up. Look at this little connection we made with a little pearl. This is the back. <gasps> Handmade, one of a kind. Gorgeousness. And they have special energy. When you make your own jewelry, it's just so special, you know? You can't really buy anything like this. When you buy it, it doesn't have the same energy. You know, you buy it like when it's commercially produced. If someone makes it, you can always feel it. 